Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am sharing with you my top 10 favorite Lush products for 2019 that are original line products. They are not limited edition. Now I discovered Lush in 2016, but I used them on and off between 2016 and 2018. I never really committed to um, really being serious about Lush products and using their products all the time until March 2019. So that is sort of the timeline that I'm looking at today in this video. So a lot of these products have been around for many, many, many years, but these are products that I discovered in 2019 that are my personal favorites. Um, now I'm not including any perfumes in this video, um, purely because we would be here all day if I listed all my favorite perfumes and also what scents you like are going to be different from what scents I like. Um, we all have a different nose, so I don't feel comfortable putting perfumes in a favorites video um, for that purpose. Yeah, so I'm just going to get straight into it. It is quite hot today. I have the aircon on because I've already tried to film this once before. My hubby came in and sort of ruined it and left the door half open and the sound was really bad from that. So <laughs> I have to refilm. Um, and it is very hot in here and this is the only time I have to film which is right now so yeah we're just gonna get straight into it I'm gonna stop complaining I'm gonna stop making excuses and yeah let's get started so the first product I'm gonna share with you is the cookie dough lip scrub now this was released as a community favorites product in 2019 around the middle of the year and it has now stayed as a permanent product um, because it just sell, it sold so well. Like people were absolutely loving the cookie dough lip scrub and it smells and tastes exactly like cookie dough. It really does. Um, it's not like choc chip cookie dough or anything like that. It's just normal, just sugar cookie type um, cookie dough scent and taste. Uh, and yeah, all Lush, excuse me, Lush's lip scrubs are amazing. So you can't really go wrong. Oh my gosh. I'm burping a lot today uh, but yeah that is my favorite for sure if I had to pick one next one is angels on bare skin fresh cleanser now this is a great cleanser for all skin types they tend to recommend it for drier skin I mean I'm definitely not dry skin and I love it so um, there's that uh, it's characterized as having a lavender scent it's got a fresh almond meal base um, very herbal, uh, not as herbal as herbalism, obviously, uh, but it does have that sort of scent. I'm not going to go too far into scents in this video. I have reviews of all these products, which I'll be linking down below as well. Um, let me just have a quick look at the ingredients. Yeah, it's got some kaolin as well. It's got rose. So it's, it's got like a floral type thing to it as well. Um, beautiful, beautiful smell. You really do have to smell it for yourself. Just stunning, stunning product. Uh, it is based on a traditional medieval recipe uh, for face cleansing. So, I mean, relying on ancient wisdom, can't go wrong. Um, yeah, it's probably, it's my most purchased and most loved cleanser. I think this is my third tub in a year, which is saying a lot because I've gone through herbalism and let the good times roll as well, um, and face masks and things like that as well. So that one came out on top. Yeah. Next product is the Tea for Toes foot powder. Now, this is definitely a product that may surprise some people. Uh, it is a very underrated product. It is characterized as a tea tree oil and lime oil scent. So it's very refreshing. Um, when it hits your nose, it just has this beautiful, just you feel clean and you feel fresh. Mm. And we all know citrus is great. And for antibacterial purposes, we know tea tree is very similar and tea tree is great for anti-inflammatory uh, properties as well. Uh, I don't use this as a foot powder exclusively. I use this as a dusting powder all over my body. I've used it as a deodorant. Uh, it's great for the groin area. I find it doesn't irritate the groin area. I've been seeking a tea tree product for the groin area for a long time because tea tree is so good at neutralizing odor, but Things like that, you don't want to put them near your privates usually because they will burn and sting. Um, I have quite sensitive skin as well, and I did not have an issue 
with this product. So I'm not saying you won't have an issue if you have sensitive skin. I'm just saying maybe give it a go, get a little sample at your local Lush shop if you're unsure and just give it a go because it is so good. The dusting powders at Lush are really good. The Silky Underwear, which is a mainline product, is also a really good option. But Silky Underwear is quite mild in scent. It is a jasmine scent, which I do enjoy, but this has a stronger scent I find it lasts better. And it's got a drier formula, T for toes. It's a much drier consistency. So I find that in terms of sweat management as well, it is a lot better and I find that I smell less compared to using silky underwear. So yeah. Next one is probably gonna be no surprise to most people who follow my channel religiously, <laughs> is Candy Rain Conditioner. I used to use the American Cream Conditioner religiously until I discovered this baby. Now they originally released this one as a part of Community Favorites 2019, a long, around the same time as the Cookie Dough, cookie dough Lip Scrub. Um, and I was devastated because I bought all of those conditioners except the Agars one, which is a, it's a purple shampoo and it was out of stock and it didn't really interest me anyway, so I didn't buy it. But out of the four that I did buy, Oh man, that was the one. Candy Rain was the one, babe. It was just the scent, the consistency. I mean, look at this consistency. I'm going to show you guys. I deliberately bought out my full bottle to show you. Look at that. That is not tipping over the sides. That is not going anywhere. That is thick. Thick, thick, thick. That is not going anywhere. That is... If I was doing this to the American cream conditioner, it would spill out everywhere. Now, I've got no hate for American cream and the conditioner, no hate, but this is a superstar. And without this product, I probably would have been including the R&B hair moisturizer along with American cream in this video. But I do not even use the R&B hair moisturizer very often at all anymore because this stuff does everything. I don't use any hair treatments, anything like that. That is the only product I use and it is worth every penny. I mean, Brazilian nut oils, macadamia oil, coconut cream, um, cashew nut oil, just cashew milk, everything. Just beautiful scent and it does the job. If you've got thick problem hair like me that doesn't want to behave, Get yourself some of that. It is gorgeous. And you know what else? Sometimes I do what I'm doing right now. I actually leave it in my hair and wash it out later. So I had a bath around one o'clock today. It's about 6 p.m. now, 6.30, something like that. Um, and I've just left it in my hair and I'm gonna go and wash it out later in the shower. And it gives you an even deeper conditioning, nourishing effect. So it's a two-in-one product. It is a conditioner and a treatment and I love it. What more could you ask for? Now, shower gel. Honey, I washed the kids. It's got to be. This was the one that surprised me the most in terms of shower gels and my discovery of them this year. Definitely the one that surprised me the most. Um, really, really, really nice um, scent and just the way it performs on the body. Um, yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous smell it's like milky honey so oh man it just if you've ever had honey ice cream if you've ever had honey yogurt if you've ever had milk in honey like you know when you take a drizzle of honey and mix it up in your milk in your warm milk uh it smells like that it's just stunning um and shower gels are definitely one of those things where your scent and what you like in terms of a scent is impacted by that for sure but uh this is a very unisex scent and it's very suitable for all ages um all sexes you know anything it's just it's a perfect shower gel if you don't know what to buy someone as well you know if you know a lushy um and obviously that they're not vegan as well make sure they're not vegan because it's not a vegan product it's vegetarian um yeah that would be a safe gift for them. Now, actually, before I go on, there were two shower gels as well on top. Let me just double check. Yes, so before I forget, um, 
there are two shower gels on this list that I do not physically have with me and that's because I've run out. Um, I'm not looking to purchase it, these again soon just because I have so many shower gels. It's not because I don't like them or anything like that. I love them. That's why they're in my favorites uh, is the Rose Jam shower gel. Hands down, just a gorgeous smell. Uh, the consistency is really good. The leather's great. Uh, the color of the product's fantastic. I really, really enjoy using that one um, all year round. It's great all year round. It's great for that. Um, just to give you a nice floral clean. I like it. And American Cream Shower Gel. Uh, that was a Valentine's Day product initially, um, and they kept it as a permanent product. And yeah, it's got the same scent as the conditioner. And it sort of gives me the feeling of having the shower, the conditioner in a shower gel, if that makes sense. So I can have my Candy Rain conditioner, but I can also have my American Cream scent when I want to. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, next product is Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Now, Luscious Body Conditioners are just phenomenal. Um, oh man, it smells so good. So there's mine there. I've gone through two tubs of this already. This is my third tub. Uh, it is a 500 gram tub, so it's a big tub. Um, if that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. Um, really lovely product to use in the shower. Now, a body conditioner is similar to a hair conditioner in principle. You would, as you would, lather up your hair and rinse that out, and then apply a conditioner and rinse that out. Same thing as a body conditioner, you apply it, either in the shower or the bath. I like to do it in the bath so I don't slip over because sometimes you can with the body conditioners if you're not careful because um, they can make the bath a little slippy if you're not careful uh, or the shower floor. Um, so yeah, I just rub it on, uh, give my body a good massage while I'm at it. Just a nice massage, you know, not, not too much manhandling, just, you know, a nice massage. And yeah, it's... It, it's amazing. It's the moisturizer for lazy women like me or lazy men. And uh, it smells like rose jam, which is that gorgeous, beautiful, floral, sweet smell that we love. And it has real rose absolute in it. Uh, fantastic product and I'll always repurchase it for sure. Now we're down to our last two products and they are both shampoos. So we've got the Fairly Traded Honey Shampoo. I think you can see a pattern forming here. I like Rose Jam and I like Honey I Wash the Kids Smell. Uh, very similar to Honey I Wash the Kids in scent. It just doesn't have that um, milky side to it. So it, it smells like honey, like fresh honey with some wildflowers in it. And the top ingredient in this is Australian honey if you do buy this in Australia. Um, and I love supporting the farmers and you know, the farmers here are going through a drought and now they've got bushfires and everything on top of that as well. So I like to support Australian when I can and Australian made products. And yeah, I I really love the shampoo. My hubby loves the, sh loves the shampoo. Suitable for all hair types. Doesn't matter if you've got thin hair, thick hair, long hair, short hair, rough hair, whatever hair, really. Um, it's going to do a great job of cleansing without stripping away everything in your hair at the same time, all those beautiful oils in your hair. And the last one is for people like me who have oily, oily scalps or hard to manage hair um, and just need that little bit of extra help. And this is the I Love Juicy and it is a clarifying shampoo. It's got lots of beautiful uh, tropical fruit juices in there. So very enzymatic in the way that it cleans. It doesn't use harsh chemicals or anything like that. It's all enzymes. Now, we all know, or maybe you don't, I'm happy to explain, uh, that things like pineapple, which is, this has fresh pineapple juice, they contain, it contains an enzyme that is very important for digestion. So, it's not going to be the same for your hair, obviously, but the principle is similar. Um, when your body digests food, it needs to break it up and break it down and move it on to the next stage. So with your hair, when it's full of dirt and oil and it keeps compounding and building up, um, you know, you need something that's enzymatic and very cleansing to get all that stuff out and move your hair onto that next step of just gorgeous glowing 
flowing hair, not glowing, <laughs> flowing hair. Um, and I Love Juicy does that. And it smells beautiful. It smells like a tropical paradise without being too sweet. Um, so blokes can definitely use this. Um, those who don't like the really sweet smell can definitely use this. And um, yeah, it's just a fantastic shampoo. And even when I've gone like... Once I went two weeks without washing my hair. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Um, and within one wash, all was fixed, all was well. Um, even with Fairly Traded Honey, you can do a very similar thing. You can not wash your hair for a while and then um, get some of the Fairly Traded Honey in there and it does a beautiful job. All Lush shampoos do a really good job. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the solid shampoos, to be honest with you. I much prefer the liquid ones. I think the liquid ones really get in there for a really deep cleanse, in in my personal opinion. Uh, yeah. So there we go. Those are my top 10. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I do have others that didn't make the list, and you're probably screaming at the video going, but where's this one? Where's this one? I'm sorry, I couldn't fit everything in. It is a top 10 for a reason. I do love the mask of, Magn of Magnum Inti, which is the self-preserving version that has the honey in it. I love honey. <laughs> uh, but I don't use it all the time. So I tried to think of products that I use all the time and products that I've used up a lot of or repurchased or things like that. Like I really thought about... Um, it from that perspective so it's not so much what I love the most it's what I've used the most which is technically what you probably love the most if you if you've used it the most if that makes sense so that's sort of where I'm coming from with my choices for this video uh, if you did enjoy this please let me know down in the comments let me know your top 10 or top 3 or top 5 or the one lush product that changed your life this year just let me know down in the comments. I will have part two coming up next. It will be all limited edition 2019 products. So please stick around for that one. And until next time, take care. Bye guys.